Hello my fellow foodies, it's Chef Kevin and tonight I'm making Mediterranean styled stuffed chicken breasts. Let's take a closer look. We have a bunch of nice ingredients here and normally when you think of Mediterranean you think of olives, feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, capers, I have some spinach, some thyme, I don't know how Mediterranean that is but it's going to taste good. Uh, nice chicken breast here skin on. Now I want the skin on because the skin will add flavor to it because the skin has fat in it and once it's seared off it'll have a nice nice color to it too so it'll look really nice. Okay so let's get right into this because I'm hungry. I'm going to be prepping the stuffing first. Okay, this is the stuffing, folks. I have some organic baby spinach here, two and a half pieces of sun dried tomatoes, three olives. Gonna chop that up a bit. You don't want to bite into a huge piece of sun-dried tomato. Good enough. The capers. These are capers and salt. And they're very heavily salted so what I'm going to do is rinse them under cold water just to take off that salt. I don't want this to become overly salted. And that's like five capers. Capers are very intense, you don't want to use a lot of them. Feta cheese. About a quarter cup. Okay, that the stuffing is basically done. Now I'm going to take my chicken breast. Now this is the let me bring you in here. There we go. The uh, there's two sides. There's one that's more tapered and there's one that's more square. So I'm going to just run my blade along the square part and I don't want to cut it completely open but I'll give it a good cavity that's about it mix this up a bit Gonna go ahead and put a little salt on it on the inside. A little salt, a little pepper, not too much. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and tie this up.
It's a bit of a mess, but it'll work. You can just make a square nut. So there we have it. Next thing I'm going to do is saute it. So I'm going to clean up this mess and start sauteing it. And then it's going to be finished in the oven. Okay, I have some butter here in a small pan. And I'm going to be adding some thyme to it, fresh thyme. These are the sprigs. Basically, just pull it back and the little leaves come out. It's a little time consuming. But fresh thyme is really, really tasty. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and melt that down. I'm going to use that to, to baste the chicken breast. Don't go anywhere. Okay folks, pan is nice and hot. I seasoned the breast with salt and pepper on the outside. Okay, I'm, I'm sautéing it now, just to get the cooking process started. I, I can smell the thyme already, it so, smells so good. And I have the presentation side down. That's the side you're going to see, and that's going to have a lot of nice color to it. Okay, folks. I just flipped it around. This is the skin side, this is the presentation side. It has a lot of color to it. Color is flavor. I'm now going to pop that into my oven at 350 for 35 minutes. Okay, real quick sauce here. One tablespoon of butter and equal amount of flour. As soon as that begins to melt, I'll put the flour in. And then I'll introduce some chicken stock of a nice little nice little sauce, nice little gravy. Okay folks, I'm making a blonde roux here. A roux is a combination of equal parts butter and flour. And I'm going to add some chicken stock. It's about three quarters of a cup. Now when I say it's a blonde roux, it's because it doesn't have a lot of color to it. If you cook, if you cook it out too much, the stock is not going to meld with the butter and flour. So I'm going to cook this out for a while, a little while, not too long. Who's hungry?
Okay, folks. Here we go. This is the Blue Plate Special if, at Chef Kevin's Diner. I hope you enjoy my videos and please come back. There's always a seat at my internet cafe. Okay folks, straight out of the oven, a little cool down. Let's see what's going on here. This is absolutely great. Have some sautéed Brussels sprouts here. Can't get any healthier than that. In the, let me just cut this off, cut this in half. Cook through. Very nice. Very nice flavors. Mm. Those capers just stand out really well. The feta cheese, really tasty, really blends in well with, with all the other ingredients. The only thing missing is a little sauce. I need a little sauce, so let me make a sauce. 